Boston. So I'm in Boston for basically I'm here for actually a work event. So hotel is provided by work, flights was provided by work. My flight was at no, my flight arrived at 8:30. Tell me why it is 11:25. Why did it take me four hours? At the end of the day, I'm here at the hotel, finally. I was just, you know, just being out at night as a girl by yourself with all these big luggages and these bags and it's a struggle. And there's loads of fireworks going on because it's actually, I think it's like the 3rd of July today. So tomorrow's 4th of July. So, woo! Okay, so room service arrived. It arrived early. They told me it'd take 20 minutes. It did not take 20 minutes. So let's see what's the sauce. Cool. I actually wanted to get the Boston breakfast sandwich, but they said they were out of sandwich as far well. as like, cool. Egg, scrambled eggs, sausage, sourdough bread, and potatoes. I haven't actually drunk anything since the plane ride here. Hello. What a wonderful view. So we have a view of what I thought last night was a car park, but now seeing in the day, it's not a car park. So I'm staying in downtown Boston. I'm literally directly next to Chinatown. I walked through there last night with my, with my luggage is in pain. Anyway, I'm ready for eating a cookie. It's nine o'clock. Let's go. Okay, let's walk to my first location. To get to the first location, I walked through Boston Common, which is actually the oldest public park in the United States, which I did not know that at the time I was there, but we will head there again later. For now, I just need to get to my destination. I wanted to go here first, early in the morning, so I could be here with as less people as possible, as this is known to be one of the most photographed streets in the city. Okay, so I finally made it to Acorn Street, and it is beautiful. So for many videos that I've watched this is one of the places where loads of people just take photos of because of the street it is a cobblestone street and honestly even just getting here it just looks beautiful now i'm just having a nice walk exploring boston a common it is very peaceful here also i have to say i was bored but it's probably because i was by myself i realized very early on i am not a solo traveler and this was my first solo kind of trip solo kind of exploring i realized mm, not for me <laughs> I actually got a Starbucks. So I got some dragon fruit, mango, lemonade. I don't know if it's because I haven't had a Starbucks in ages or it's just US Starbucks, but this drink is sweet. I walked through here earlier to get to Acorn Street and I'm back here kind of just like exploring it more because before I just did a little walk through, I just been sitting here on a bench as a dog walker trying to catch their dog from going in the water, like bless her. So after just chilling in Boston Common for a bit, I crossed the road and there I was in the public garden and which in my personal op opinion, this is just a whole lot more prettier. This is actually the first public botanical garden in America. So this place is old. I walked around here for a bit, just admiring the views, you know, there's a lot more water here. It just, it, there's a lot more flowers, of course, botanical garden. I just, I preferred it here. About a 15, 20 minute walk was Charles River and oh my God, I had to say at this point, it was hot, I was dying. I think I don't do well in heat, but I came across this pier where I see a lot of people just chilling and I thought, oh, me too, me too. So I sat here and I just, I just kind of stared at the water, the boats and the waves, but I don't really think I enjoy my own company that much for too long. So I literally was not there for long at all. So right now I'm just sat on a bench. The river is behind me and I'm just gonna chill here for a bit. I'm not entirely hungry, but next thing that I have put on my plan is to go to Quincy Market and to get some lobster rolls or clam chowder. Charles River is actually such a short walk from the uh, Public Garden and Boston Common. 
So it's 1.20 right now. I'm going to go and get lunch. So I'm right outside Quincy Market and I've literally seen this market in every single Boston video. So I have to go and visit. So what I've heard about this market is essentially that it's a must go. It does great food. However, it is overpriced and it is very, very busy. But um, <laughs> so far, what I've seen of Boston is nowhere near as busy as London is. So I am fine. So I'm going to head in there. I'm going to get some lobster rolls probably. Hi. <laughs> I want to be famous. This is Snap Boogie. He is a street performer and a former America's Got Talent finalist. He came up to me as I was vlogging and let me just spare you my embarrassment because I do not know how to act when people come up to me as I film, but um, we'll get back to him in a little bit. Anyways, Quincy Market. So this is a large food hall in a historic building. This building was built in the early 19th century. This place has over 50 food vendors. It's busy. So I I am sat outside right now because it is super busy inside. It's just too crowded. I can't find a seat. I walked around everywhere. I don't know how long it took me, but in the end, we just sat outside. And even outside, it's hard to find a spot. I got the lobster roll combo from, where'd I get it from? I got it from Boston and Maine Fish Co. And I've heard about this place because I've heard it online. I've seen it. It was very, very busy. And also, it was very, very overpriced. $33.98. Salt. I did get a combo meal. So the combo meal comes with the lobster roll, clam chowder, and a drink. So I got the lemonade. And I need it. Mm. I love garlic and this has got a lot of garlic. Anything about this, it is proper messy. I'm outside here by myself with all this equipment. So now to open up the clam chowder. I've never had clam chowder before. Also, it is very hot outside and I'm not looking forward to eating something warm. And can I even open it? Here we go. So after eating, I thought to myself, okay, let me just go for a walk. I ended up at just the entrance of Christopher Columbus Waterfront Park, where I just ended up talking for hours to this elderly couple. They were telling me about love, they were telling me about life, just experiencing different cultures. So I actually didn't end up going for my walk until later on. So earlier you saw this guy Snap Boogie who actually told me he was a finalist on America's Got Talent season 6 so I went to go see him perform. He does street performances so if you're around come check out. Okay, so here we are at Mike's Pastry, a very popular, a very famous cannoli spot for locals and tourists. As you can see, it is very busy, but the line moves very fast, so no worries about that. So I made my way down to the Christopher Columbus Waterfront Park and I brought my pastry that I kind of need to eat because it's getting hot. And they are known for their cannolis, so I've got a cannoli. I only got one because I don't want to be carrying around a load of cannolis just for myself. And it's a struggle just kind of like holding all my stuff as it is with my camera and everything so <gasps> I've got the cannoli so it was very busy but I didn't mind because it had air con oh my god look at it so I actually had my first ever cannoli in Italy like a couple of weeks ago I want to see how this one compares because apparently they are known for their cannolis there were five euros each I just got one I got it in the pistachio flavor let's try mm. oh my god this is so good straight off I can tell I'm gonna get the shits because look at this dairy Mm, I love pistachio favorite things and just the crisp of the outside of the cannoli. Oh my god, I love it. Put some on my chin. It's actually so nice being here, just like sitting in front of the water. It's so peaceful. The waterfront, eating a cannoli. So I then made my way to the Boston Tea Party Museum. 
but they were closed. So I thought, okay, let me go back to Chinatown and explore Chinatown since it's right near my hotel. But oh, some man was following me every time I was making. So I was like, okay. Um, so all I just have to say is be careful, especially if you're alone and especially if you're a girl. I hid in 7-Eleven and then I went straight back to my hotel 